Welcome to the doctor's kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make a really easy leek soya protein taco. Really, really simple. I actually make this for breakfast sometimes because as you're going to see, it takes me less than 10 minutes, uh, if that. Uh, for this, I'm going to be using leek underutilized ingredient, fantastic source of prebiotic fibers. See, I've slit it in the middle and washed it very thoroughly because it does get dirt in it. I'm using rehydrated soya protein, but I, I like to look at the uh, ingredients in the back and there is only about four or five ingredients. It's soy protein, bit of oil, natural flavorings, herbs and spices, salt and uh, garlic. I'm trying to experiment with different sort of uh, plant-based proteins. Tempeh would be fantastic. What I do with tempeh is I cut it in very similar sort of shape. Um, I'll put some paprika through it, some salt, pepper, uh, maybe even some Cajun spices like they've done here. And then you've got a very similar product, but as a convenience option, some of these are pretty good. Some of them are not so good. You want to be looking at the uh, non-GMO ones, but you know, in the UK, we don't really have uh, that. Well, we don't have any GMO really. I don't really like to like, you know, call foods protein and this is a protein, this is a fiber, because in reality, this has got fiber, it's got micronutrients from the uh, herbs and spices. Soya itself is a source of isoflavones, um, some other phytochemicals that you find in soy protein very good for uh, gut health as well. Um, a whole bunch of other benefits of soy can be related to uh, its potential to reduce the risk of cancer. Um, that's not to say it treats cancer or cures cancer, absolutely not, but it certainly may be uh, pivotal in reducing the risk in combination with diets that have mostly plants, lots of different colors, fiber, phytonutrients, um, and low in uh, refined processed food as well. The other ways in which you could use this is some simple white beans. You could use scrambled eggs with this, like leeks and then scramble the eggs in afterwards. Could use real meat as well. You know, they have this for breakfast in America, Mexico. Everyone has their own version of a bread and filling, whether it be a sandwich or whether it be rockies. So I'm using some um, tomatillo and jalapeno salsa. This is a particularly good brand, no affiliation. It's literally just tomatillos, some uh, onion, garlic, salt, coriander, and uh, jalapeno. That goes on top. If you like it hot, just add a little bit of red chilies because this is quite mild. A little bit of red chili on top. And that is it. That's exactly what you want to start your day. Fantastic whole grain in the corn tortillas and wonderful, wonderful flavors. Try it out. You can have this as a snack for dinner, lunch, breakfast, right for breakfast. Honestly, it will fill you up, keep you fueled during the day. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. There's so many others for you to enjoy right here. Check out the doctorskitchen.com, sign up to the newsletter where I give science-based recipes every single week. There's a podcast, there's two books, there's loads more content on social media, doctors underscore kitchen, and I hope to see you there.